Well, the second Seafloor survey was done by the team as part of ongoing efforts to understand the scale of the environmental impact of two industrial dump sites. The more we're looking, the more we're finding. Researchers from UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography say they have found multiple types of discarded military munitions on the seafloor. Additional chapter in better understanding what's right off the uh, coastlines here. The team first found barrel-like objects likely containing toxic chemicals on the seafloor in 2021. Last year, the team went back to survey the area using state-of-the-art technology. Over the course of three weeks at sea, scientists uncovered a multitude of World War II military weaponry and explosives scattered between Los Angeles and Catalina Island. Likely the munitions are a result of World War II era disposal practices, uh, more than likely as ships were returning to ports and during the war many ships had to return for repair during during the war to get uh, quickly back on the road. UC San Diego worked closely with the Navy on the expedition. Scientists say they're now working to understand the impacts of industrial dumping which was common between the 1930s and 1970s. We're trying to establish a baseline that allows us to say what components of the toxins in our coastal ecosystems may be attributable to these dump sites so we can understand the scope and scale of the impact of those dump sites. And you're one looking at uh, where and how much of these deep ocean toxins are translating into recreational fisheries. In a statement, the Navy says it's reviewing the findings to determine the best path forward to ensure that risk to human health and the environment is managed appropriately. Additionally, scientists found a surprising amount of whale falls or sunken whale carcasses. A novel and interesting discovery. A total of seven whale falls were confirmed using video imagery, but sonar data suggests there could be more than 60 in the area. It's a deep basin with low oxygen and uh, low sedimentation rate. So potentially this represents an accumulation of whale falls over a long period of time. Researchers say they anticipate the findings will lead to additional studies about the impacts of industrial dumping on the marine food web. Scientists believe it will take roughly a year to complete fingerprinting the toxins at the dump sites. Rocia de la Femme, CBS 8.